guys, what's going on? This is Charles from Corona Geek, and I'm here with another app review. Today we're going to look at 14 Pixels. Uh, this is a fun 2D platformer game that I think you're going to have a lot of uh, fun with. Uh, basically what you've got is uh, you're in Inkblot, and your goal is to make it from one end of the platform to the other, where a portal awaits you to take you to the next level. Now along the way, you're going to want to take out uh, the, some of the orbs there, collect those up, going to want to free your friends, and you're going to want to try to avoid all the obstacles that are in your way as you make it across the platform. There are things like death pits, spinny thingies, stars, all kind of stuff. I mean, these are the names of the things that the, uh, the, that the developer came up with. Uh, they're all there to challenge you, to keep you from your goal. And I have to tell you, it is pretty challenging. There are times when, you know, you can feel like you're never going to get there. But it's a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. One of the things I really like about this game is that uh, they, it doesn't have, it has, it doesn't just have one dimension. I mean, there are times when uh, some of the levels where you can, uh, you hit a certain piece of the the puzzle, and the whole orientation, the whole rotation of the map flips. So now gravity is still, you know, top to bottom, but but the whole map is flipped. So how you react to everything changes as well. So that's that's a pretty interesting point. Um, there's also an online uh, editor, which we'll look at in a separate video, but if you want to, you can create your own uh, levels for this game, uh, and you can share those with your friends and play those, and so that's a lot of fun too. It is in beta, which means that there are some things that are, are, that are not there that probably will be there eventually, but for right now, it's a great way of being able to create your own games, keep everything fresh, keep everything moving, and be able to share that out with your friends so that you can, you can uh, challenge them, and they can challenge you as well. Now, uh, just for here from the home screen, basically you've got some options. You can turn off the music if you like. Uh, you can turn off the sound effects if you want to. There is a control mode 1 and 2, uh, and I'll show you that in just a moment, but basically I find it easiest to play in control mode 1. So uh, I'll, I'll show you those in just a second. So let's just go back here. Um, it keeps stats. So for everything that you do, uh, it keeps stats as to how many times you've died, all the different ways that you've died, and things like that. Now I think that's pretty quirky. I think it's a great feature of the app. Um, and it's a lot of fun to kind of see how many times you die. Uh, and it's in the app as you go through, it tells you every time, you know, this is your 100th time to try this uh, this level or whatever. And, and uh, you, don't, you don't realize how many times that you, you go over and over and over again trying to do something until this thing tells you that you've done it, which is which is pretty pretty funny. Uh, there are more games you can see from the other from the developer, uh, and of course you can find them on Facebook and Twitter. And then the Game Center is integrated into this, so you can keep uh, your high scores. You can challenge your friends. You can you know go up against them and things like that. So let's look at the gameplay for just a second here. So if I go ahead and click play, uh, really there's uh, there's uh, if you have the paid version, like I said, there's online levels you can play those. Uh, there's some beginners levels that kind of get you introduced to the game. Uh, and really have some training wheels to kind of takes you through, shows you where you're supposed to do, uh, where you're supposed to go, things like that, and kind of takes it easy on you in the beginning. But it doesn't take too long. I mean, there's, there's really like two or three levels there where it kind of holds your hand, and then after that, it lets loose on you. Uh, so that's that's real good. And then if you go off to some of the other worlds, there's some advanced stuff there as well. And then of course, as you unlock things, you can unlock. Um, uh, the different worlds and different levels and things. So let's go ahead and just go through and I'll show you, so, so I don't embarrass myself too much, let's go just with, with the training wheels. So as you can see there, you, you're going to collect your orbs, you're going to make it to the other end of the platform, save your friend, and then you're going to escape through what they call the wormhole, but, but it's basically a, a, a teleport to another place. Now, on game mode one, down the lower left hand side of the screen, I don't know if you can see this or not, but you've got some controls, so you can go left and right. That just takes you back and forth. And then you have an up motion, so everything is uh, gravity fed. So you're gonna you're gonna come down. You don't have to do anything to go down, but if you want to, you can you can jump up. And if you double jump, uh, then that builds on itself. So you can jump once, or you can double jump and move move up uh, higher in the platform. So let's just go across here. Take out some of these orbs, and then we'll just jump over this little nub right there, and. Bow. We hang our, we help our friend, and then as we do that, the the uh, portal or the uh, wormhole opens up and takes us to the next level. So it does keep it does keep your time as part of your scores basically. So it's keeping track of how fast you do this level, and if you don't if you don't uh, get all the orbs or you abandon one of your friends, 
which I've done uh, on a few levels, uh, then you don't get all the stars and things like that. So if you want to, you can hit uh, recycle there. You can go back and play that level again. Uh, you can hit up to see the, the, all the different levels that are available. Or if you want to, you can just go and play uh, that that uh, the next level right from, from where you were. So let's just go here. So this is the, kind of the next level here. And I'm not going to go through them all, but, but I just want to give you kind of a sense of the gameplay here as it becomes more advanced. I also want to show you that second game mode here in a moment. So let's just see here. So now we've got some, as you can see, I'm just going to edge over here. We've got some death spikes. Uh, so I basically I need to jump over those. So I need to I need to kind of uh, see killed by spikes. And I kind of like that whole splatter thing where you splatter all over the screen. It's kind of kind of funny. Uh, you can fall off the platform. I've done that many many times. But here let's just go. Uh, for some reason I think about it way too much. Uh, but if you just double jump, see you can you can kind of propel yourself into the air. And the, of course the, the death spike pit there gets a little gets a little uh, gets a little wider, which becomes a little bit more challenging. So you just kind of have to, you almost have to, there's po points where you have to really just not think about it. And then there's points when you have to be a little careful. See, there, I, I had to jump right at the last second. Now, when you get up against against a wall, if you'll just go ahead and push yourself up against the wall, and then just, you can just climb up the wall and get jump into the wormhole. So you can see how easy that is. But like I said, as you go through, each one of these levels becomes more advanced. Now, I can't remember which one it is, but I think it's probably here coming up here pretty quick where the whole orientation of everything flips. I'll save that for you to find uh, and because I don't want to spoil it for you. But let's say let's go back here. Let's go back to the game mode. We'll go into options. Game mode 2. So let's go back to let's say like um, that beginning game mode. I mean that beginning level. So here's the beginning level. Collect the orb. Save your friend go through the wormhole. Okay, remember we did this with uh, game mode one turned on before. Did I, did I just, yeah. Okay, now see, if you look on the screen here, I can see, again, it's maybe hard to see, but you got a left and a right, and then you have uh, an up, up left, and an up right, which means you kind of kind of move kind of forward uh, and up at the same time. Now, I had a hard time playing this because it, it challenged my brain it kind of split my brain between two uh, two sec two halves there and I really couldn't I could really couldn't get the hang of it I'm not that coordinated you might find it uh, easier to work than I did so just know that that's available to you I, I prefer to play in game mode one which or control mode one which really just uh, makes it a little, a little bit easier for me to manipulate so that's it it's a uh, 14 pixel it's on iOS, it's on Android, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, in the next video, I'm going to show you how the online editor works. So be sure to watch that video as well. It's annotated, annotated in this video, and I'll put a link in the description as well. But you definitely need to check this out. Uh, it's 99 cents. You can, uh, it's a super fun game. I think you're going to like it. Uh, go check it out. And there is a free version if you want to try before you buy. You can do that as well. It's just not going to come with the online access to the online uh, levels, and it doesn't have all the full 45 or so levels that are a part of the game. Um, but if you want to just test it out and see if you like it, that's a good option too. I have that link in the, the blog post, uh, that, which should be along with this video, uh, and I'll put it in the description below. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later on Corona Geek. Talk to you later.